pitch black sky like a haunting eye, casting an eerie glow upon the desolate highway. Mark had always enjoyed a good thrill, and he relished the idea of driving through the remote back roads that night. Little did he know that this journey would plunge him into a nightmare beyond his darkest imaginings. Mark's headlights cut through the thick fog that clung to the road like ghostly fingers. The radio crackled with a static-laden signal as he navigated the winding path. The air felt heavy with an unnatural stillness, and the occasional rustle of leaves in the wind sent shivers down his spine. As he rounded a bend, Mark spotted a hitchhiker standing on the side of the road. The figure was obscured by shadows, a silhouette with no discernible features. A chill ran down Mark's spine, but he couldn't resist the allure of the unknown. He slowed down and rolled down the window. Need a ride? He called out, his voice swallowed by the oppressive silence. The hitchhiker nodded, face still hidden in darkness. Mark hesitated for a moment, then unlocked the passenger door. The stranger climbed in, and the car continued its journey into the heart of the night. As the miles passed, Mark attempted small talk, but the hitchhiker remained silent. Unease settled in the pit of Mark's stomach, and he couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. He stole glances at the passenger, but the shadows clung to their features like a protective shroud. The radio suddenly burst to life, a distorted voice cutting through the static. Turn back, it warned, sending a jolt of fear through Mark. He glanced at the hitchhiker, but they remained stoic, eyes fixed straight ahead. Ignoring the voice, Mark pressed on, the road stretching out like a desolate ribbon through the dense forest. The trees leaned in, their branches clawing at the night sky as if trying to escape some hidden horror. The hitchhiker's presence became suffocating, a weight in the car that Mark couldn't shake off. As they approached an old, decrepit bridge, Mark noticed a flickering light in the distance. It danced like a will-o'-the-wisp, drawing him closer. Against his better judgment, he steered toward the, bridge the mysterious glow under the weight of the car as they crossed it. The flickering light revealed itself to be an abandoned gas station, its broken sign swaying in the wind. Mark pulled up to the rusted pumps, the headlights casting long shadows across the cracked pavement. The hitchhiker finally spoke, their voice low and haunting. This is where I get off. Mark felt a knot tighten in his stomach as the hitchhiker exited the car. They disappeared into the darkness without a backward glance. Mark stared after them, a sense of foreboding settling over him. As he turned the key in the ignition, the radio crackled again. Leave now, while you still can. A shiver ran down Mark's spine, but curiosity gripped him. He drove past the gas station, deeper into the heart of the abandoned town. The buildings stood like silent sentinels, their windows shattered and doors hanging on rusty hinges. Mark's headlights illuminated a figure standing in the middle of the road ahead. Panic seized him as he slammed on the brakes, the tires screeching in protest. The figure turned to face him, revealing a ghastly face smeared with dirt and blood. Hollow eyes locked onto Mark's, sending a wave of terror through him. He fumbled for the gear shift, desperately trying to reverse. The figure approached with slow, deliberate steps. The car's engine groaned, but before Mark could escape, the figure lunged forward, slamming its hands against the windshield. Mark's heart pounded in his chest as he swerved the car, narrowly avoiding the sinister figure. He accelerated, leaving the haunting town behind. The radio emitted a distorted laughter.
that echoed in the car, making Mark's skin crawl. The road stretched endlessly before him, each mile dragging on like an eternity. The hitchhiker's warning echoed in his mind, urging him to turn back. But an unseen force propelled him forward, deeper into the darkness. As Mark drove, the surroundings became increasingly surreal. The road twisted and contorted, leading him in circles through a nightmarish labyrinth. The moon overhead seemed to mock him, its glow warped and unnatural. Suddenly, the headlights illuminated a figure standing in the middle of the road. It was the hitchhiker, their form now distorted and otherworldly. Mark's hands trembled on the steering wheel as he tried to swerve around them, but the road seemed to shift, trapping him in a nightmarish game. The hitchhiker's voice echoed in Mark's mind. You should have listened. The car careened off the road, tumbling down an embankment. Darkness enveloped Mark as the world spun out of control. When he awoke, the car was mangled and the night had taken on an even more ominous stillness. Staggering out of the wreckage, Mark found himself in a desolate clearing. The twisted trees loomed overhead, their branches forming grotesque shapes that seemed to whisper malevolent secrets. The hitchhiker stood in the shadows, a spectral presence that haunted Mark's every move. No escape, they whispered, their voice now a chorus of haunting echoes. Mark stumbled through the dark, the air thick with an otherworldly energy. The surroundings seemed to warp and twist, distorting reality itself. The moon overhead pulsed with an unnatural glow, casting long shadows that danced like specters in the night. As Mark wandered through the haunting landscape, he couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched. Whispers echoed through the darkness, taunting him with fragments of forgotten nightmares. Faces flickered in the shadows, each one a distorted visage of horror. The road stretched out before him, a never-ending path that led him deeper into the abyss. Mark's footsteps echoed like a dirge, the only sound in the oppressive silence. The hitchhiker appeared at the edge of his vision, a phantom always just out of reach. Desperation clawed at Mark's soul as he realized the futility of his situation. The road twisted and turned, a maze with no escape. The haunting laughter of the hitchhiker echoed through the night, a cruel reminder of Mark's doomed journey. In the heart of the darkness, Mark saw a dim light flickering in the distance. It drew him like a moth to a flame, an irresistible pull that he couldn't resist. As he approached, the light revealed a dilapidated mansion, its windows shattered and ivy crawling up its decaying walls. The front door creaked open, inviting him into the abyss. Mark hesitated, but the darkness behind him urged him forward. The mansion seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy, the air heavy with the weight of forgotten horrors. As Mark stepped inside, the door slammed shut behind him, sealing his fate. The mansion's halls twisted and turned, a labyrinth of nightmares that seemed to defy the laws of reality. Whispers echoed through the empty corridors, each step leading him deeper into the heart of the haunted abode. The hitchhiker materialized before him, their spectral form now a grotesque manifestation of the darkness. You chose this path, they intoned, a chorus of voices merging into a cacophony of despair. Mark stumbled through the mansion, the walls closing in around him. Each room held a new horror, a tableau of forgotten nightmares that clawed at the edges of his sanity. Faces leered from the shadows, their eyes accusing him of sins long buried. In the heart of the mansion, Mark found a room bathed in an ominous red glow.
the air was thick with an otherworldly presence, and a sense of dread settled over him. In the center of the room stood a mirror, its surface reflecting a distorted version of reality. As Mark stared into the mirror, his own reflection twisted and contorted. The faces of the haunted town's inhabitants flickered in the glass, accusing him of trespassing into their realm. The hitchhiker's laughter echoed through the room, a haunting soundtrack to Mark's descent into madness. With a sudden jolt, the mirror shattered, shards of glass cascading around him like a malevolent rain. The room plunged into darkness, and Mark felt a presence closing in on him from all sides. The hitchhiker's voice whispered in his ear, a symphony of torment that threatened to consume him. In the suffocating darkness, Mark glimpsed the twisted figures of the haunted town surrounding him. Their hollow eyes bore into his soul, accusing him of unleashing the horrors that now enveloped him. The mansion seemed to collapse in on itself, a vortex of despair that swallowed Mark whole. As the darkness consumed him, Mark felt himself being pulled into an abyss beyond comprehension. The echoes of the hitchhiker's laughter faded into the void, leaving only the haunting silence of the unknown. The night, once alive with the whispers of forgotten nightmares, fell into a profound stillness. The road stretched out, deserted and desolate, as if erasing any trace of Mark's ill-fated journey. The moon hung in the sky, an unblinking eye that witnessed the horrors that lurked in the shadows. And so, the desolate drive continued, a perpetual loop of despair that echoed through the haunted back roads. The hitchhiker, a spectral guide to the lost souls who dared to venture into the abyss, awaited the next unsuspecting traveler, their voice a haunting chorus that carried on the wind, warning of the terrors that lurked in the heart of the night.